Hey everybody, it's Troy. I've got a question from a customer who asks if Camtasia supports drop zones. And we had a conversation about placeholders and what he was looking for was not just like a placeholder on a timeline that sort of cordoned things off so that's the only thing that could go there, but like could you turn a picture into a place where you could drop in something else? So let me show you a couple ways of doing it. We're gonna start actually with something called a placeholder. And uh, let's say that I've got this bit of animation. It's an animation sequence. Let's say this is sort of my intro title sequence for a fictitious company. And I've got my good friend JV, the Camtasia gangster. And uh, I'm going to click here to open that group. And uh, what I can do with his photograph here, I can right click and convert to a placeholder. Okay, let's close that group. Now, uh, with that, I can add that to a library, and that becomes an asset that I can share with anybody else, and then they can bring it down and drop it into their um, onto their project. Now, with that part of their project, this is one of the things that I don't usually do very well. I don't usually read the instructions, but we actually put the instructions on here. Placeholder, drag media onto the placeholder in the timeline or on the timeline. So if you give this piece to somebody else and you can share those uh, library elements relatively easily, you uh, tell them to go into the group and uh, they'll be able to see the placeholder <laughs> somewhere. Uh, there we go. Let's see if I click it there. There we go. So it shows up right there. And we're going to uh, replace JV with uh, Miss Elizabeth here. And I drop that onto, come on. There we go. Drop it onto the placeholder and ripple replace. And we're good to go. Okay. Uh, so that's way, that's process number one. Now, another way of doing that is, uh, let's say that I've got these elements here and uh, they just, in fact, let me just take it from the top. I'm going to ungroup this uh, so it might look like something that you guys would have. And it's a whole bunch of items here on the screen and I'm going to right click. I will group it and I've got one group and I'm going to rename that group um, intro title, something like that, okay? What, with Camtasia 2021, we have this fantastic ability to uh, edit these group properties. So I'm gonna click it, and I am going to do a couple things. One is, nope, I don't want anybody messing with my uh, copyright, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't want people playing with that. Um, and let's say for whatever reason, I don't want this text to be editable. And in fact, that white background, I don't want to be changed. But yes, I will allow them uh, to change some text and maybe some title sequence. And now I hit the plus sign and the JV uh, photo now is going to show up there. So I'm gonna save this. And actually, let me make one modification here. Uh, with JV and we're gonna call this one um, your 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 photo cool okay and with that I'll hit save cool so we got the your photo we got text 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 something like that okay we can do a lot more with it if we need to but once again this can be added to a library you can share it with other people yada 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 so that when someone else brings this down onto the timeline uh, they then have this and uh, they can click on the photo of JV and let's remove him from the media group and let's drag Elizabeth Oop, I forgot I keep forgetting that sorry folks um, I hit import photo and then we have uh, and then we got the photograph exchange in there so it's not a drag and drop uh, but it is a, a click to import and they're good to go and then of course they can go in here and uh, put uh, additional text in here so there you go thanks for watching hope this helps